Hey everybody, this is Applicable Dave. Today we're going to be talking about uh, the Mac OS X Lion, the latest installment to the Mac OS X line. This is scheduled to come out around the summer of 2011. Uh, today though, I wanted to talk to you about three specific benefits that people uh, will have with the OS X Lion. The first thing is the interface. The, if, uh, uh, if you haven't uh, had a chance to uh, play with the iPad, iPhone, or iPod Touch, uh, it's, a, it's a very simple and easy uh, user-friendly interface that deals with the applications uh, generally on your home screen. Uh, you, you have a number of different home screens you can fill up your uh, applications with or the ones you choose or you download and uh, I've kind of like this one right here where there's a uh, there's different pages that you have and you it's easily customizable as far as where you want the applications to go and you can sort them by uh, by productivity um, or any other category you may desire and so uh, Mac OS 10 Lion has adapted that uh, with their last uh, with Apple's last keynote uh, back to the Mac uh, they've uh, announced that the OS 10 Lion will have that interface so people who are used to uh, dealing with iPhones iPads and uh, iPod touches will have an extremely easy time uh, learning the uh, Mac even if it's their first time so that's a, a good benefit for first-time Mac users uh, guarantee there's probably a lot more people who who would probably be more familiar with the uh, iOS uh, interface uh, than having a Mac and so this would be a lot easier for them to to adapt to it and to fall in love with the uh, OS 10 interface the second thing I want to talk to you about I'm gonna go ahead and close this down is the uh, MacBook Air now when the first generation MacBook Air came out, there was a lot of uh, speculation and a lot of uh, uh, doubt as, as to uh, have, uh, the absence of the uh, optical drive. Uh, as, as you may know, the MacBook Air does not have an optical drive, neither does the second generation one. And uh, they, they had uh, wireless capabilities of uh, borrowing basically another computer's uh, optical drive and using that to install software. Uh, and different things like that. Uh, fortunately, this time with the with the new release of the uh, Mac OS X line and also the update on the Snow Leopard, which just came out uh, not too long ago, uh, uh, you're able to have the what we call the Mac uh, Mac Application Store. Let me go ahead and launch that. And so what this is similar to the uh, iOS series. With the iOS uh, interface, uh, you have a, a, an interface or a, or a window that has all the uh, apps that uh, that's available to you. There's staff favorites. There's what's hot. There's uh, uh, applications by uh, by category and a, a new and noteworthy. There's also different uh, lists here. And uh, what this basically is is just a, a an application store for your Mac similar to the uh, uh, app store for the iOS lineup so if you this is featured if you uh, click on top charts top paid top free and people who uh, had a hard time trying to locate different apps they would probably have to search Google or go on YouTube to find the, the coolest free apps here it's all in one spot you just uh, uh, click on that and this has a whole list of all the free applications that you're able to download and it's at the convenience at your own home and you're good to go with that so that's the second thing so the third thing I want to talk to you about is similar to the second basically with the uh, with the capability of downloading applications at your own home you have the liberty of surfing through all the applications uh, that you desire without having to go to an Apple store or having to uh, deal with a lot of uh, traffic and a lot of people this way you're at, at your uh, at home at the comfort of your own home you're able to surf through the internet and try to find uh, the applications that you desire now doing this you're also you also have the uh, the opportunity to find uh, updates 
without having to search for it. It'll just kind of like the uh, iOS uh, interface where it would have notif push notifications of uh, software updates. And that way, uh, through the app, uh, Mac App Store, you just uh, click on updates and it'll give you all the updates uh, that uh, that's available for your applications. So that's it for the uh, for the benefits that that I've uh, concluded. If you have any other suggestions uh, as to how uh, OS 10 Lion will benefit you, please make sure you leave your comments down below. If you have any questions about what we talked about today, also leave your comments or your questions down below. And if you like this video, please rate thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe for more videos like this. Until then, I'll catch you at the next video. Bye.